Lawmakers in California are considering a new law that would be amazing for workers. And if this applies to you, I don't know how you'd be against it because I feel like it's almost objectively good. So what am I talking about? Well, as CBS News explains, Assemblymember Christina Garcia has co-sponsored a bill to make the state's official work week 32 hours for companies with 500 or more employees. Any work done past that cutoff would come with a hefty raise. Employers would be required to pay time and a half to workers whose hours run over 32 hours a week, and work stretching past 12 hours a day or into seven days a week would be paid at double the normal wage. Employers subject to the law, which would apply to 20% of California's workforce also would be barred from reducing people's pay if they work less than their standard work week, Garcia told CBS News. So if I were to call up any of my former co-workers, regardless of what shitty job it was, Subway, Walmart, you name it, uh, conservative, liberal, all of them would say, this sounds incredible. Hell yes, I want this. Because it is obviously the case that we are one of the most overworked countries. And nowadays, people are working longer hours for lower wages. And finally, people are standing up and de demanding better treatment, better pay. And so I love this. This is an incredible idea. So who would be against this? Take a guess. The talking heads over at Fox News. Um, and they're not just against this. They think that this is basically the beginning of the end, and I wish that I were joking about that, but this is actually something that they said in response to the idea of a four-day work week. Take a look. Okay, let me tell you what's going to happen. If you're, in a country, if you're in a company with more than 500 employees, you get to work 32 hours instead of 40 hours. That means every, everybody else is going to say, I only want to work 32 hours or I'm going to quit my job, okay? And the problem then is that after 32 hours, they're going to say, oh, I only want to work 25 hours. This is the beginning of the end as far as I'm <laughs> concerned, okay? Nobody wants to work anymore. Everybody's lazy. The pandemic's a mess. People are walking around in pajamas in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> they go to church in their pajamas. I don't get it. That's all I have to say. Nobody wants to work. Everyone's asylum lazy. workers are dressed better than these people. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. yeah, you know, the uh, the problem with keeping businesses open, Greg, is is critical. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, the they, restaurants close now Monday and Tuesday. Uh, the, you know, they shorten hours. I mean, there's no one. It's destroying my social life. And that's when, when it starts, when it starts yeah. hurting me, I care. But you know what I think they realize? They realize in a 40 hour week, 40 hour week, maybe at most you work 32 hours. Right. You know what the thing is? There is a lot of inefficiency built yep. in the, in the, the workplace, including even coming and going to work. Yep. Having a, I, I never understood a lunch hour, but then again, I don't have kids. I don't need to run to the, you know, to do errands. Right. So I just sit around and I, I always have, you know, my assist, I pull a Jesse and have my assistant do everything. But you know what? This is going to be this is going to end up turning us into a virtual reality cocoon. Everybody's just going to evolve into staying home. They're going to get everything they need at their house. They're going to get really large. And the only people that are going to be in the outside world are the people who can't afford the inside world. That's exactly right. Aww. Jesse has the the appearance of Ferris Bueller type person, but he works very hard right now. Thanks, Geraldo. Was that a question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I think, Geraldo. I've stopped caring about the millennials Californians <laughs> here's why I used to feel sorry for California I used to, to try to fix California we have to do this we have to do that no nope. what do we care yep. they voted for these people That's right. this is a democracy it's on you guys if you guys want to have homeless tent cities with meth heads running around and get free food and free cash you guys do you we'll be normal in the rest of the 49 we can't help California they have to help themselves. They got a lot of Are delegates. we Dana like France? They do have, a, but not ours. It's funny that you say that. I wrote France right here on my favorite because if yep. you want to be more like France, there's a, like, eat more croissants. Don't go this route. The other thing is they did in France. If you look at their economy, they're terrible. But also for a while they were like, well, we don't really want to put our defense money into NATO because it's like we want to spend that money on our other. We French. don't have enough. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to do a French accent. Um, you're not allowed. Yes, you are. The employer is not allowed to contact you on the weekend. It is illegal for an email to be sent to you on the weekend.
in France, for example. And wow. here's the other thing. If a company thinks that they can attract more talent by saying, you're going to work 32 hours a week at this salary, great. But the government shouldn't tell people to do that. I was thinking Greg would be in prison if he was French. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday morning. Da, 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 da. Hilarious. Now, what they said was obviously idiotic, but I feel like even they don't believe the things that they're saying. I think that they know they're expected to be purposefully hyperbolic, but the way they said it that just leads me to believe that even they don't believe the bullshit that's coming out of their mouths. How can you be against this? I mean, is it really that absurd to think that maybe people just working one day less might be a good thing? Are we supposed to just work until we die? Are we not allowed as human beings to enjoy life, to travel, to spend time with our families, to just sit around and maybe play video games, smoke weed once in a while? Is it really that bad if we enjoy this short life that we have? Is that really cause for you to say this is the beginning of the end? I mean, if you watch this, if you're a Fox News viewer and you watch that, how do you not feel insulted? Because they're calling you lazy. They're saying, mm, you should be working 40 hours a week at a minimum. 32 hours? I mean, what? Are you lazy? They're calling you lazy. They're suggesting that you don't work enough. Now, maybe perhaps Fox News' audience watches that and they think, oh, they're definitely not talking about me. They're talking about millennials. They're talking about other people. I'm a hard worker. No, they're talking about you. They're saying... All this hard work that you put in that you don't really see paying off. You don't even know if you'll be able to retire. You can't put your kids through college. They're saying you're lazy in spite of how hard you work. Why would you watch this and be loyal to Fox News? They're against the most basic thing. Just being able to live your life and not be worked to fucking death. What people are asking for is literally one less day per week. That's it. We're still saying with this law... For the majority of the days that you wake up, you're going to go to work. Out of, you know, seven day, days per week, you're going to go to work for four of those days. And they melt down. It's, it's just absurd. So Janine Pirro said, that means everyone else is going to say, I only want to work 32 hours or I'm going to quit my job. Good. Good. I think that it's really important for employees to have more bargaining power. Uh, she says, and the problem is that after 32 hours, they're going to say, oh, I only want to work 25 hours. This is the beginning of the end as far as I'm concerned. Really, Janine Pirro, you really think that this is the beginning of the end of what? America, the workforce, and the slippery slope argument is a fallacy. They're asking for 32. If they wanted 25, they would ask for 25. And I think maybe... It makes more sense, perhaps strategically, to ask for 25 hours, because assuming that there's going to be people against this, then maybe you meet in the middle and you actually get what you want with 32 hours. And even if people ask for 25 hours a week, great. I think that having more time to live your life and enjoy your existence, your short existence on this rock, is an objectively good thing. But she says, no, uh, nobody wants to work and everyone is lazy. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. This is coming from somebody who is a multimillionaire and she gets paid, what, millions of dollars per year from Fox News. And what is her job? To blab for a living. I mean, maybe people would enjoy their lives more, Janine Pirro, if they could just talk bullshit all fucking day like you do. Like your job is easy and you think you're working, but actually people who are working, they have jobs that they fucking hate. Not everyone is lucky enough to land a job where they talk for a living. You fucking insufferable elitist prick. I mean, you think that, oh, well, I show up to work every day. It's easy for me. Of course, it's easy for you. Anyone who talks for a living is going to have more enjoyment with their job. I also talk for a living. It's very easy. I, I, I can tell you that. This is very simple right now. Not even going to break a sweat. So shut the fuck up, okay? People who work these jobs, who show up every single day for an employer who abuses them, exploits them, and doesn't even care about them, this is about them having better lives. Are you honestly against that? Do you honestly think that people shouldn't be allowed to spend more time with their families? I thought that Fox News and conservatives were pro-family. Seems like you're against families. Now, Gutfeld also said, this is going to end up turning us into a virtual reality cocoon. Everybody's just going to evolve into staying home. They're going to get everything they need at their house. They're going to be really large. And the only people who are going to be on the outside world are the people who can't afford to be on the inside world. 
I think that if you were to ask Greg Gutfeld what he means by that, I don't even think he knows what that means. We're not talking about ending work. We're talking about having one extra day. And I'm sure that a lot of these uh, employers, they're just going to pay their workers the time and a half. They're not going to let them work four days a week. I mean, I hope that that is the uh, actual outcome of this legislation, but this isn't that big of a deal. And you think it's going to fundamentally restructure society? If anything, it improves society for the better because people get to have more free time. Maybe people will be less irritable. Maybe they'll be more polite if they don't feel as if the little time that they have outside of their job, you know, is uh, is uh, always coming to an end. I mean, you you get off of work on Friday, and then before you know it, the weekend's over. Having that one extra day per week would make a huge, huge difference for mental health, for, you know, morale overall. So I, I just, I don't understand why they think this is compelling. Your audience is largely made up of just normal people, and you're insulting them. And they don't even realize how tone deaf they sound. And Jesse Waters said, you voted for this, you know, in the context of California doing something good, introducing four-day work weeks. He's like, well, we can just, you know, we don't have to care about California. You all voted for this. That's not the own that you think it is. That's not the own you think it is. They voted for politicians who are saying we should basically give them more time or money. <laughs> I just, I don't think that they realize how out of touch they sound. Get your fucking ass up and work.